If you're going to carry a tripod, try not to skimp on quality. Tripods are enough trouble that it's not worth it to carry something of poor quality. Same goes for the head. Arca Swiss is a big name in large format cameras and tripod heads. Arca Swiss invented the ball head and the clamp and plate style that still goes by its name. It's a very conservative company. Arca Swiss is privately held and doesn't even have a corporate website. The products are known for their expense and also for a general lack of availability. For example, I've been waiting for an Arca Swiss D4 geared head to be available, new or used, for years, and I'm still waiting. But they have other ball heads in the P01. That's the subject of this video. The P0 is an inverted design. That is, it's like a regular ball head, except that it's upside down. Seems odd, but this has some advantages we'll get into later. It's a compact design and a reasonably lightweight. Let's dig into the specs just a bit. It weighs less than a pound. It's about three inches tall, and at its maximum, it's two and a half inches wide. It has an untraditional locking knob around the circumference. We'll get into that later. And an asymmetric ball head. We'll also get into that later. It has an integrated spirit level, and three types of fixing systems, the classic knob that I have, a slide fix, and a flip lock quick release. It has a capacity of 20 kilograms, or 44 pounds, and the cost, well, it's over 300, up to nearly 400, depending on the fixing system you choose. So here's the P0 close up. Uh, you can see it's a pretty unusual looking tripod head. And this uh, silver ring, that is the locking mechanism, believe it or not. There's not a knob, there's just that twisty thing. It follows the lefty-loosey, righty-tighty rule, so if you can open a jar, you can use this head. It'll turn by 90 degrees due to this slot in the side. And when you turn it to the side like that, the tension increases a bit because of the asymmetrical ball. That's an Arca Swiss thing. The idea is to keep your camera from flopping over uncontrollably. Arca Swiss is known for their dovetail clamp. It's an industry standard, essentially. Mine is a uh, twisty one. It just uses a regular knob, but they have uh, quick releases available. A little silver knob on the side unlocks the panning mechanism, which you'll notice is on the top, not the bottom, of the head. Now that may seem a little odd, but the advantage of that is that if you use the built-in bubble level to get the head level, note that you don't have to level your tripod. Once you get the head level, now you can use the panning mechanism to shoot a panorama or whatever you might like to do, but your horizon will be horizontal, like horizon should be. In essence, the P0 is its own leveling base. Putting your camera on the head is easy. Obviously, you'll need an Arca Swiss compatible plate. Um, and with mine, you basically just uh, angle it in, or you can slide it in to the dovetail, and then tighten it up. Tightening is very positive, and once you're mounted, the camera is very secure. Both the ball and panning mechanisms lock in very tightly. I doubt you're going to see any drift. Once you're ready to remove the camera, it's just the opposite of mounting it. No problem. Now one thing I want to point out, and it's really user error, is the, uh, the panning lock is kind of oblong, and if you're like me and you keep turning it too far to unlock it, like flipping it past the point you need to, then you'll run into trouble tightening it because the um, level and the clamp will get in the way of it. But what you really need to do is just unlock it a little bit and leave it hanging there instead of turning it all the way around. Overall, I'm happy with my P0. It does take a bit of getting used to because of the odd loosening and tightening mechanism. But once you're used to that, it's no big deal. It's basically like opening and closing a jar. It's light enough that uh, I don't mind carrying it and it's compact enough that it works well on my folding travel tripod. So if you don't mind spending the uh, relatively big bucks and you want an Arca Swiss, this might be a good choice for you. And you might want to consider the other clamping styles. I find the, uh, the knob that I'm using to be really great, but uh, if you're used to a quick release, they have two other alternatives. As usual, if you have any questions, please comment and uh, I'll do my best to answer your questions. As always, thanks for watching 
and I'll catch you later.